of people ask me, Dan, a diamond is the hardest material known to man, so how do you cut a diamond? It's a fair question. Well, there's two things I want to talk to you guys about that. The first is a misconception people have. I once sold a diamond ring to a, a, a lovely lady who came in a few weeks later saying, you know, it feels like some of the diamonds in my ring are loose or out of place. And I started to look, and every single stone was chipped, and every single stone was broken. And I'm sitting here going, oh my god, what did you do with this ring? And she's, she's a competitive athlete. So she said, well, you know, first I lift weights for three hours every day. And I say, oh my gosh, are you, are you hitting the metal bar with the diamonds? She says, well, a diamond is the hardest thing in the world. That means I can't break it, right? So let me correct all of you on that. No, it does not mean that. You can, in fact, break a diamond. If you take a diamond and you smash it with a hammer, you're going to break it. Now, a diamond is the hardest material naturally occurring in the world. That means you can't scratch it. The surface of a diamond is incredibly resistant to scratching. That's what the hardness scale really implies. It doesn't mean you can't shatter it. You can. But to answer the original question, how do you cut a diamond? The traditional method of cutting a diamond is there's a very large stone wheel. And that wheel is covered in a paste. That paste is made from olive oil mixed with diamond dust. Very small particles of diamond are are mixed into that oil, so you get this paste of diamond dust. Now you cover the wheel in that paste, then that wheel is spun at very high speed, and the cutter will take his rough stone and press it onto that spinning wheel, polishing away one facet at a time. And it's done with larger stones that way by hand. They cut a facet and they look, and they cut and they look, and they cut and they look, over and over and over again until the diamond shines beautifully and looks like the diamonds that you're used to seeing in jewelry. It's real craftsmanship. It's a, it's a very, very skilled art. It takes years to master, and it's part of the reason why diamonds are so valuable.